I just hit record. So I missed those first few steps. So I started by making a semicircle for the whale's body. I made this curved line for its tail, made a point, and brought the two ends together almost like flower petals, and this curvy line for the mouth. Above the mouth, we can put the eye. You could do just a nice circle eye if you want, or if you like, you can pop the cheek up and cut off a little bit of that eye. And I really think that makes people look happy. They get those smile lines. When they smile, their cheeks go up. And so you can apply that to animal characters too. Humpback whales have these great big fins. And they kind of should be like a long curved line like this on the front end. They're really skinny where they attach to their body and then they kind of scoop out. If you ever go to a museum where they have a whale skeleton, you can actually see the way their fins are. It's almost like they have these long finger bones in their fins. It's really fascinating. And I like to put these little scoops around to like show the thickness where it attaches to the body. And if it has one fin on this side, it should have one on the other side. We're not going to see most of it. But you could show just the bottom part of the whale's fin on the other side of it. You guys doing good out there? Thumbs up. Again, you can shout out whenever you want if you need me to slow down or if you have a question. All right. Now, my octopus is really cartoony, and I don't know enough about octopuses to uh, do anything else right now. But I like to make octopi. octopi. Thank you. <laughs> Who is that? The weird chicken? Bok, bok, bok. <laughs> Everly, like, this is what I'm going to think of forever now. Ba next year, when we're back in our art classroom, I'm going to think weird chicken. All right. Back to the next, octopi. Next drawing class, can you draw a chicken? It's not a bad idea. Can you post it? Can you put it in the request so I remember? Okay. I like that idea. Chicken would be fun. All right, octopus. I'm going to do this big kind of curve around like this. Well, I made a really big octopus. And then I draw, now unfortunately I'm using marker so I can't erase. I draw like a big bulging eye that kind of sticks out past the body. If I was drawing in pencil, I would be erasing this line. Maybe I'll go over it in marker. So my drawing would just look like this, like the black lines. When I do lines like this, like this blue line that I'm ignoring now, that's called drawing through. It's a really good thing to practice drawing through. Helps you really understand the forms. All right, so for an animal like an octopus, everybody knows eight arms. But as an artist, eight arms, it's a lot of chaos in my drawing. So I'm thinking if I show five or six arms, people are going to know what it is and they will hopefully make the assumption they just can't see the other two or three arms because they're on the other side of the whale or something. So it's a little shortcut that um, I'm gonna, I'm willing to try as an artist and see how it looks. See that when I make my books, I'm fortunate I have an art director and an editor who are always looking over my drawings. So when I try a shortcut like this, they're kind of my test audience and they'll let me know if that works or if it's just confusing. Why does, why can't we see more arms? You guys could have the arms going any which way. I'm going to have this arm like kind of wrapped around the whale, hugging on maybe this one. It's wrapped around the other way. So I've got one, two, three arms. Maybe there's one that kind of comes up over him here. 
and one that's kind of flying out this way. And I sometimes put for an octopus, I'll do these little ovals on the end, like the little suction cups. I'm sure it's really inaccurate to what actual octopus tentacles look like, but it works for me. So what do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I'm not convinced by five. I'm going to get in a sixth one. I'm going to have it start over here and come scooting out this way. And I think with those six tentacles, I've probably got my audience buying into that being an octopus. You guys could do your tentacles going any which way. It's totally up to you. Did somebody have a question? Can or you Elsie? slow down? Yes. <laughs> Did you have a question, Elsie, or were you just stretching? I, I can get, I raised my octopus was because it was too big, but that, now I missed all the directions for the uh, octopus. Oh, I'm sorry, kiddo. The, the octopus tentacles, you can have them go any way you like, um, but if you feel frustrated, don't worry. This is recording now, and I'll post it later today, so if you want to follow along again later, it's going to be there for you. How, how can you draw the same exact thing on, the, uh, on a different paper? Like, the same exact thing? Um, well, it's not going to be exactly the same, <laughs> but this was like my practice run. I usually do these before I Zoom, so I know how I'm going to explain it. Okay. I have a hard time just making it up as I go along and talking. <laughs> I can make up a drawing, but I can't do it and speak at the same time. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a really good question. How you doing there, Everly? Pretty good. Think I can move along a little bit? I only got a couple other things left to show you. I am going fast though, you're right. I just looked at my watch, I went way fast. All right, Ev, I'm gonna keep going so people aren't just sitting waiting. And I think you'll be okay with this next step. So we do wanna make it look like they're in the water. So I'm gonna have a water line and you could do this a couple of different ways. I'm just going to do a quick sketch here. So pretend there's my whale. There's his tail sticking out of the water. You could have like rolling water like this. Or you could do that thing where you got those kind of spikes. Makes it look like a little choppier, wavier water. It's up to you. I'm actually, I'm going to try that kind of rolling water thing this time. How would I do that? I'm gonna have a line come down like this. And what I do, if I draw something that's a picture that's above and below water, I do a double line for my water. And I would leave this line, like in between the two, completely white. And it's like my division between what's under and what's over. It's actually one of my favorite things to draw, that above and below scene. My next book has a few of those. What's the book called? The next book is called, uh, what's it? Bobby Babinski's Bathtub. It's about a kid who doesn't want to take a bath. So his dad like does all these imaginary things to make it seem like fun. So ultimately he's like in like, almost like an ocean instead of the bathtub. It's pretty fun to draw. All right, I think I'm gonna, oh, we, and you could take this scene and add any kind of details you want. Maybe there's a bigger whale here. You like can a do, Go ahead. You can do like um, ink from the octopus or you can oh, yeah, you could totally, you could have, like, ink coming down. I'm throwing, like, a giant whale here. 
like the the mama whale. Like, what is going on up there? You should write question marks. Oh, like a couple question marks over the mom's head. Like Above the octopus. That's a cool idea. Yeah, like what is happening? Have that. I'm gonna give it an open mouth. Like, huh? <laughs> I like that. That was a cool. That was cool, Everly. Come here, come here. Octopus. I I give them spots. Totally inaccurate to real octopus, <laughs> but I think they look cool if you give them spots. I think my octopus rides the line between octopus and like a mythical kraken or something. Like it's not super realistic. You guys doing good out there? You having fun? Yeah, I'm making a sunken ship. Oh, that's an awesome idea. I love it. All right, I'm going to start outlining. Oh, another cool detail you can have, these uh, humpback whales usually have these really like kind of lumpy undersides that actually follow the form of their body really well. So it kind of helps show how, you know, how their body moves under the water and how round it is. Oh, and above the water, you can have these little ovals that look like little splashes coming off of the octopus. They're little weird shapes. You can see when I go over an ink, I start ignoring certain blue lines that I don't want to be there anymore. Areas where I drew through, I now get to make that decision of what stays in my drawing and what I just ignore. Yes. Mr. Barry, I can't hear you very well. I wasn't speaking. Uh, never Can mind. you hear me now? <laughs> I barely heard something. I, I got really into my inking. <laughs> I stopped talking for a minute. Great. I, I was listening to someone's lunch choices and I was getting hungry. <laughs> I would go for the pretzels myself. Hi, Mr. Barry. Hey, who's saying that? <laughs> Me, Shane. Oh, you're here, Shane? Oh, I'm scrolling through the screens. I don't see you, buddy. Where are you? Uh, Is your camera on? Yeah, that's on. Yep. Why don't I see you? It's. It looks like you're muted, but you're not. I, I have two cameras going. Oh. It, you're hearing me through this one. Oh, I see you, buddy. You're with your sister. I, 
I wasn't even making that connection at first. <laughs> this is a shark with a it, chicken. It's good to shark. see you, buddy. There. I am the chicken, you are the shark. <laughs> <laughs> How much time do we have left? Oh, nine minutes. I thought I was going to get to paint this too. I don't know. Mr. Barry? Yeah. I was born in the year of the snake. You were? Mm-hmm. I think I was like year I of the... I was born in the year of the rabbit. No wonder I like bunnies so much. I haven't checked in a while, so I'm not sure, but I think I was year of the rooster myself. Or dodge and are on for the year of the monkey. Oh, that's monkey. fun. Like throwing some bubbles in, you could throw some fish in the scene. I really feel like painting. I only have a few minutes, but I'm gonna get. I'm gonna paint a tiny bit at least. Now, of course, just because I'm painting doesn't mean you guys need to paint. You can not color them if you want. You can choose to color them with crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever you got. Whatever works for you. Cat's crying at my door. I knew it would. My cat was visiting before most of you got here and wanted to get out of the room desperately, so I let her out, but I knew she'd be back once that door closed. Speaking of cats, my mm -hmm. my cousin saved a chipmunk from their cat from the cat. They had That's funny you brought cat, that up. And I... um, you, you see the cat. Kills lots of stuff. There's holding the chipmunk in its mouth, and the girl who and one of the girls, the youngest one, got picked up the cat. Yeah. And then there, then once the chipmunk got away from the cat, their dog got it. Oh and the, no! And the dog has Lyme disease. Oh oh boy. It's a bad situation there. And my, and my aunt said that when he's trying, when the, the dog named Samson was trying to get up the stairs, he just collapsed on his oh, leg. Oh, and that's back, sad. One of his back, back legs, like he can walk on it. Oh. It's funny you tell that story because just this morning I was noticing all the wildlife in my backyard, like the squirrels, everything was. It just seemed like there were 10 times the squirrels today than there were yesterday. And I was watching a chipmunk, and it reminded me of a time where I had that very thing happen when I was a kid. My cat was uh, trying to make a meal out of a chipmunk, and me and a couple friends saved the chipmunk um, at oh, our own the, risk. And the chipmunk <laughs> that they saved was a baby chipmunk. Oh, that's cool. Well, and those friends you have a time when my dog was digging and then she dug up a chipmunk. That was oh. high brain. Oh, wow. It was so good. I miss having good watercolor paper, like in the art room. This paper really isn't made for painting on. How you guys doing out there? Is anybody else doing Pretty color? Good. Not yet. I'm still adding fish. Ah, cool. Yeah, I kind of rushed it. I wanted to get. Take a sip
Ooh, almost time. So yeah, this is recording. It takes me a while to convert the video to get it up on the website and uploaded, but should be up later today. So if anybody fell behind or just wanted to give it another go, the video will be up Yay. later today. Can we share now? Yeah, I think we're about to share time. Let me get let me take it off of my screen.